made it in. We love that. We hope you're dancing at home. And if you're streaming with us on uh, Facebook, please share, tell your friends. On YouTube, we're at the Jazz Power, uh, the Jazz Power Initiative YouTube page. And the Facebook is at National Jazz Museum. We welcome all the listeners from National Jazz Museum in Harlem. Welcome to the Intergenerational Jazz Power Jam live from the National Jazz Museum in Harlem. I'm Eli Yeaman, and so pleased to be able to bring the band leaders who have helped us going strong through this pandemic. We had Claire Daly exactly two years ago on this day, September 12th, uh, 2019, live in here. And we had uh, one of our board members, Jeffrey Jones, the Jedi Master, recorded that day. So when we went all into the hibernation and pandemic situation, we had some recordings and we were able to share that, some of those songs with you from that live performance. But we're so glad to have Claire Daly back, live in person two years later. And, um, and to bring you together with Stephen Okendo for the first time. This is a wonderful combination. <laughs> yeah. And that's what Jazz Power is all about. It's about community, it's about connections, it's about intergenerations. And uh, we have the wonderful David F. Gibson. He's our most senior member. We want to pay special uh, appreciation. Our youngest member, I believe, is Joao, but seconded closely by Jason on the bass, our 20-year-old residents. And the rest of us are in the middle somewhere. We won't have to get into that. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, we are grateful to receive support for our community programs from the New York City Council and City Council member Yadonis Rodriguez who's been so helpful in uh, getting us established uptown and serving our uptown community. Also, we wanna thank the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs, the New York State Council on the Arts, the Upper Manhattan Empowerment Zone, the Lower Manhattan Cultural Council, the Hispanic Federation, the Miranda Family Fund, and individual supporters like you. So thank you for helping us keep the jazz power on. And you know, during this pandemic, uh, I found one thing helpful for me to celebrate the big things like today, coming back live, but also to celebrate the small things. Sometimes it's even just being able to brush your teeth, you know? So this next song is called Celebrate Big and Small. So whatever you're celebrating today, whether it's something big or something small, let's celebrate together on Jazz Power. Mm -hmm. Celebrate big and small. Thank you. All right. right on.
friends all right so um, that was big and small and now uh, I'd like to introduce Claire Daly to introduce the next song and uh, Claire and I have worked together for many years I was very fortunate to perform on several of her CDs including one that we did tribute to the great Rossan Roland Kirk and so that's what we're gonna do now yeah we're gonna do one of the tunes uh, off that's on that record and it's a, a standard of mine. I love playing it. It's called the theme for the Ulipian. Out of nowhere comes a warm song. You aren't about to forget it. This is the first time, though, that I've heard him at an airport. I know he moves along the piers. He calls himself a journey agent, a Ulipian. Says his friends, the poets, and the artists and the musicians are Ulipians too. Listen to his tune. He calls it his duty-free song for the traveler. Thank you. 
transition. We mentioned Duke Ellington's um, uh, funeral, actually, and the great heroic effort of the 23-year-old Phil Schapp to bring Ray Nance to the funeral so that Ray could play the violin. So we have Joie with us playing the violin, and Joie also sings, like Ray Nance did. As far as I know, Joie does not play the trumpet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but you just started playing drums this week, yeah. so you never know. Uh, the trumpet could be not far behind, but we're going to play a song now from the Duke Ellington Sacred Concert, one of the Duke Ellington Sacred Concerts. He wrote three, and this is one of the numbers that he wrote uh, with the wonderful soprano Alice Babs in mind, and it's called TGTT, which uh, yeah, our youngest visitor, it's probably not an appropriate song uh, for our youngest one there, so that's probably best for the time yeah. being. Although. Although, you know, with theme for Ulipians, that was kind of cool with the baby in there. But this one is, is kind of a silent kind of situation. TGTT, too good to title. And we will also feature our wonderful uh, teaching artists and featured performer at many of our shows, Antoinette Montague, uh, jazz woman to the rescue. She'll be joining us uh, for the second piece that we'll be playing connected with this one. And that second one is Caged Bird, which is written by Abby Lincoln. So um, we're celebrating swing right here. We're celebrating the intergenerational jazz power jam live from the National Jazz Museum in Harlem. Welcome.
up their heads with feathers. I'm a colorful gray. I know why the cage birds sing a sweet and moaning song. Yes, I know why. Fa la la la, 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 fa la
la la la la la la la la Monsieur Joie. song when my lights go out I pray that I think of Charlie Parker and strings at Carnegie Hall and it is an ode to music and to these excellent musicians who I'm surrounded by please give them all another round of applause and can you imagine what this world would be right now without music we can imagine what it is without live music so we pray that you continue to support great musicians like Eli Yaman. Please give our Eli a round of applause. If I should lose you. Can you, uh, I'm sorry, but um, just a second. Is there a little, can you pick that uh, something on the mic? Is a little bit of feedback? Can you fix that? What feedback? A little bit of feedback. Is anybody back yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. On the yeah. vocal mic. Put the vocal mic. To, yeah, before we do this beautiful song, it would be nice if we could. Yeah. Tell us how to do it again. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Testing one, two. If I should lose you, uh -huh. and if we lose all of our friends watching on Facebook and streaming land. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're not done with you. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, One.
you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Special round for these amazing musicians. Yes, yes. Eli Yaman. How about Antoinette Montague? Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Holy moly. Wow, you know, that brought me back to the days of Bras Townsend and that man. He really Carrie did. Smith. Carrie Smith, Hedda Jones. Jones. We used to know all those cats. So we're doing our best here to carry on for you. And it's the Intergenerational Jazz Power Jam. How about it for David F. Gibson on the drums? Annette Aguilar on the percussion. We got Jason Clotter on the bass. Wonderful young man on the bass. First time doing a stream with us. We've known each other a little while, but man, he's laying it down too. Joao St. Hubert on the violin and vocal. Our front line is the great Claire Daly on baritone saxophone. Stephen Okendo on the trumpet. Oh, well, we're going to get into something now. This is called the happy blues. See, because a lot of times people say, oh, the blues is sad. No, man, the blues don't have to be sad. It can be, it, it's hopefully, it might start out sad, but it shouldn't end up sad. It, hopefully, make you laugh at yourself. And once in a while, you might even start with a happy blues. And that's what this one is by Gene Ammons. We hope you enjoy it. They should never have gotten rid of the telephone book. We have a gift for somebody here. Uh, we have uh, one of our board members, our newest board member actually. Uh, she has been instrumental in firing up our board. Uh, we have a great board and they're even greater because Tanya Lamel joined us this year. And she organized our jazz power, uh, our jazz, uh-oh. Jazz power walk and talk? No, it was jazz and talk power walk. <laughs> And it's because we had such a successful Jazz and Talk Power Walk uh, and, and the efforts of Tanya and, and the other board members that we're here today. And we're continuing these kind of programs and we're making sure everybody gets paid, all right? Because we believe in paying the artists and respecting the artists and presenting the art of jazz on the highest level we can. So we have a thank you gift for Tanya at this time. And it is actually Hugh Bell, the wonderful photographer who's from Washington Heights and his uh, book of photographs, beautiful book, Between the Raindrops. So this is a small token of our appreciation, Tanya, for you. Thank you. Yeah, give it up for Tanya Lamel. <laughs> Love you madly. Love you madly. Now, if you feel so inspired, uh, we actually have one more book by Hugh Bell today and it's going to be available for a pledge. So people are going to be pledging now online and Hani's going to figure out exactly how that works. But if you would like to <laughs> pledge, the highest bidder is going to be getting one of these beautiful Hugh Bell books. It is a collector's item. It's got beautiful pictures. Sarah Vaughn's in there, Duke Ellington's in there. And Hani Gonzalez, our Director of Business Affairs, will be telling you in a moment possibly before the song she sings, which is not now, so you have time to think, figure it out. Uh, but you can pledge now. If you'd like to make a pledge, the highest pledge will be uh, receiving this book from Hugh Bell. So um, 
you can do that to support Jazz Power Initiative. We are at jazzpower.org. And right now, this is the Happy Blues. Watch for more information from Hani Gonzalez, how you can pledge your support and get one of those beautiful books. Okay.
Happy Blues, Sunday Blues. All right, we want to thank you so much. Um, we have uh, our second surprise guest. I mentioned her uh, briefly. Um, she originally came to us because she wanted singing lessons. Little did she know her life was about to change, and mine too, because I really needed a bookkeeper. So we started by trading bookkeeping for singing lessons, and one thing led to another. And uh, Hani Gonzalez has become one of the, she became the second full-time staff member of Jazz Power Initiative. And she helps run our whole operation as the director of business affairs. And we're so grateful for the hard work she does. Uh, sometimes, you know, beyond Monday through Friday. It's not a normal Monday through Friday, nine to five situation. Here we are on Sunday doing this for you. And we're so happy that she's here. And uh, she's also a wonderful singer, as well as of our Director of Business Affairs. So we invite her now to sing a beautiful song for you, and she'll introduce it. Hani Gonzalez, yeah! yeah. All right. Hola. Hola. All right. So, when Eli told me to sing Dos Gardenias, he asked me, do you know Dos Gardenias? And I was like, yeah, of course. And I didn't. I knew only the first phrase, <laughs> but it, it, it's those kind of songs that you heard when you, are, you were really, really young, and some, somehow it comes to you, right? Uh, it, what made it more special was to know that the composer was an Afro-Cuban woman. Uh, her name was Isolina Carrillo, and she was composing since she was like nine years old. So it was amazing to know that legacy, and this is so, special to me to sing for my mom at home <laughs> too. Um, but just with this ensemble of amazing musicians that I so admire, including my boss. So with you, I give you Dos Gardenias. ¡Gracias! 
Honey Gonzalez. <laughs> come on back. Honey, come on back. Come on back. So we got to tell them now, now that you might want to support, you might want to get in on this action here, Jazz Power Initiative. We are a nonprofit organization based in Uptown New York City. We're all about jazz arts education and community events like this one, Intergenerational Jazz Power Jam. We have a beautiful book by photographer Hugh Bell that we are going to now give as a gift to the highest contributor. Uh, and, and I think Connie has an idea of how that's going to work. Well, uh, you can, in the chat, please post your bid. Uh, we're going to be monitoring the YouTube channel and the Facebook channel. So whoever is the highest bidder by the end of the, of the program, we're going to send them the information through a private message on how to make the payment. Thank you very much. And uh, now we'll um, continue uh, with a song that became very famous in the civil rights movement. Do you want to introduce this, Joie? You want to introduce this, Ain't Nobody? No? Oh, OK. Sorry, I didn't mention that ahead of time. Antoinette will introduce it. <laughs> so we got a clue about that. Come on over here. She's like, what? <laughs> I did a CD uh, called World Peace in the Key of Jazz, and it was tinged with much civil rights music to give to our young, to uh, remind us folks in the middle, and to uh, cheerlead and appreciate those who marched, those who were kings and queens brought over from slavery to the creation of the blues and contemporary commercial music, this music called jazz, that we are you know, all family, and as we say, mankind's out of Africa, and we're all 99.9 .9 the same DNA, so on the count of three, if you wouldn't mind saying welcome to the family reunion, that would be great. One, two, three. Welcome to the family reunion. And jazz power reunion. All right. <laughs>
ain't gonna let nobody turn me around turn me around turn me around ain't gonna let nobody turn me around gonna keep on walking keep on talking marching up the freedom land don't let nobody Focus on your dreams. Go to higher ground. Go to higher ground. Don't you let no hatred turn you round. Turn you round. Turn you round. Don't you let no evil turn you round. Keep on walking. Keep on talking. March.
is the highest ground. I keep on walking, I keep on talking, marching up the freedom land. Joie Saint Hubert, David F. Gibson on the drums, Jason Clotter on the bass, Annette A. Aguilar, the percussion, Claire Daly, saxophone, Stephen Okendo on the trumpet. We want to thank you so much. We want to thank the staff and Martin, especially at the National Jazz Museum in Harlem. Big thanks to Martin for our sound. We want to thank the jazz staff and the board members of the Jazz Power Initiative, including Jeff Jones, the Jedi Master, who is here today. Also the great Jonathan Hernandez and Angie Pastor. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. And we are grateful to receive support for our community programs from the New York City Council and City Council member Yudanis Rodriguez, the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs, the New York State Council on the Arts, the Upper Manhattan Empowerment Zone, the Lower Manhattan Cultural Council, the Hispanic Federation, the Miranda Family Fund, and individual supporters like you. Thank you for helping us keep the jazz power on. And now, we would like to perform our final selection, which is a dedication to Dr. Billy Taylor. His 100th birthday was this summer. Uh, Dr. Taylor was the first jazz musician to start a nonprofit organization. And the nonprofit organization he started for jazz is called Jazz Mobile. And it's still going strong. And we are great friends with Jazz Mobile and had an opportunity this past July. Uh, to present on their stage at the Marcus Garvey Park in Harlem our musical message from Saturn about the healing power of the blues. So Dr. Taylor is someone who had a huge impact on me personally, and I'm Eli Yeaman. I'm the Managing Artistic Director of Jazz Power Initiative. And the piano player, thank you. But let me tell you, man, I saw Dr. Taylor present uh, when I was in a high school summer program at uh, Livingston College at Rutgers University in New Jersey. He came with his trio to perform on an afternoon during jazz camp. I was a, going into my senior year of high school. And he talked about jazz as a language. And he said, how do you learn to speak a language? You listen to your parents. You know, you hear how your parents speak and then you gradually learn to put words and sentences together and gradually and then he would play this wonderful music. And he always played this song that we're going to play for you, his own composition, I Wish I Knew How It Would Feel to Be Free. But you know, that first experience with Dr. Taylor made such an impression on me as a jazz musician is not just somebody who plays the piano or plays the saxophone, plays the bass, plays the drums. We are, we are community leaders. And, and a, big, a big part of our job is to reach into communities and to share this rich music, this music that may not be the first thing you're going to hear on commercial radio or on a television, 
but is so important to the fabric of America, speaks to what the best of this country is. If you just look at this stage, look at these musicians, and you look around the room at the National Jazz Museum, National Jazz Museum, and you see the diversity of people who have contributed to this art form and who continue, women and men, Latinos, blacks, Jews, Polish people, Irish people, you name it, Chinese people, Japanese people, Indian people. We have come together over this, the years, the decades, to keep this art form vital and strong and for it to be an oasis in communities for young people, for older people. That's what Dr. Taylor did for us. And he brought the music into television. He brought the music onto the radio. He was the first jazz musician to say, hey, I'm going to use education as a platform to share this great art form. And he blazed the trail for us. He blazed the trail for Jazz at Lincoln Center, blazed the trail for all of us at Jazz Power Initiative and National Jazz Museum. So we are so grateful for Dr. Taylor and the legacy he left and the way he carried this music into the future. And that's what we hope to do for you right now is keep carrying this music into the future and let it be a life force and let it be a source of strength for everybody who can hear us. So this is for you, for doc in Dr. Taylor's spirit, this is I Wish I Knew How It Would Feel to Be Free. Look at that. We even got a statue of Dr. Taylor right here at the National Jazz Museum in Harlem. <laughs> Let's, and he's smiling. <laughs>
Kendo on trumpet, Claire Daly on saxophone, Jason Clotter on the bass, David F. Gibson on the drums, Annette A. Aguilar on percussion. My name is Eli Yaman. We are the Jazz Power Initiative. We want to thank everybody who joined us, especially all our featured artists, all our audience, our surprise guests, including Hani Gonzalez. <laughs> we hope you'll join us next, next month on the second Sunday of the month, October 10th. It is the birthday of Thelonious Monk. We'll be celebrating Thelonious Monk's birthday with percussionist Chembo Corniel and Afro Blue Monk. So we hope you'll join us as he explores the, the uh, connection between Thelonious Monk and Mango Santa Maria and the, the Latin jazz connection between Thelonious Monk is going to be a guest. That's October 10th, right here at the National Jazz Museum. If you would like to learn more about our Jazz Power youth education and community programs, please visit our website, jazzpower.org. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Join our mailing list and social media. Let's stay in touch. Until then, we'll catch you the next time. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.